Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Joe. Welcome to the end of another week. I've got three apps and two games for you. Let's get started. Remindy is a reminders app, but it's not like most reminder apps that you've used. It has an interesting way of doing it. So this app, you actually can't just like create a reminder right here in the app. What you do is you share to the reminder app from other apps. So the example I have, uh, here's a tweet that I saw about the Amazon Prime price change. So maybe I have an Amazon Prime subscription and I wanna remember to change that. So what you can do is you just use the share menu from like the built-in Android. Uh, so you have share right there. And then I'm gonna tap remind me and then I just put whatever information I want in here and it's gonna go to the reminder app. I can choose when I wanna be reminded and all that good stuff. And so it's kind of a way to share things that you see that maybe, oh, that's cool, or oh, I, I need to do something about that. Share it to the Remind Me app and then you can get it later and take action on it. Flick Launcher is a super simple launcher that's kind of based on the Pixel Launcher. So you can see my home screen right here. Uh, I've got a search bar on the bottom. I've got this uh, slide up dock that reveals the app drawer, which is in a list like this. Um, and that's basically um, the general idea here. Um, and if you go into the settings, you'll see that it's very, uh, very clean, very minimal. You can actually add the Google Now pane, which is pretty cool. Um, you can go into the layout and there are a bunch of different options. So you can enable a night mode if you want. Um, you can have, you can change the grid size as you would expect. Uh, if you go into the app drawer, there's some options here as well. You can select the background of the drawer. And if you want to go into the dock, here's where you can add that search bar on the bottom, which is kind of like the pixel look that you see a lot. Um, but it's just a very simple, uh, well-designed home screen launcher. Uh, it's very fast, uh, very easy to use. You can see it has a little cool little animation there. So nice little details all around. If you want something like the pixel launcher, uh, this is a great one. It's called Flick Launcher. We've all had those moments in life where you forget to send someone an important message. Maybe it's happy anniversary, happy birthday, uh, whatever it may be. You don't wanna forget that. And so this app called Scheduled uh, allows you to schedule messages really easily. So here's a happy birthday message that I have set up. And all you do is you select a person in the top, it's gonna to use your contacts on your phone. Select a date and a time. Uh, you can repeat it or you can um, have it do all these different types of repeating. You can have it auto send uh, and then you just put in a message and as simple as that. And then when that time arrives, the app is gonna ask you if you wanna send it or if you have the auto send feature, it'll just send it without you knowing. So you'll never forget to wish anyone a happy birthday or any of those important messages. This is called schedule. Scheduled. Hacksell is a tower defense game that doesn't look like any tower defense game you've probably played. Uh, so basically what's going on here is there's going to be stuff coming from the top of the screen uh, and then you have to prevent them from you know basically destroying um, you. And so what you do is you tap these little circles and then you can um, put one of these down and you have these four different icons to choose from and they do different things. Uh, so I'm gonna put this one right here. And you can see across the top, it shows that different combinations um, kind of have multipliers. So if I put a uh, the blue water icon right next to this yellow one, they connect and that's gonna be a times five multiplier up there. Um, and then uh, we can do, let's say we'll put a fire right there. Uh, and we'll just round it out with the green guy. And then across the bottom, here's where I can also like power up those things. So uh, we'll do level two for the lightning bolt. Um, you can see my money across the top that I have to spend. And I'm, I'm ready for wave one, so I'm gonna hit play. And we're just gonna watch these things come from the top and see if my setup can keep them away from me. All right, wave clear, I got 200 uh, coins there. So that's the end of that round. And now again, set it up again. So let's say uh, I'm gonna put a, I don't know, put another green guy over here. Um, we'll put a yellow right there. Uh, we'll power up the yellow again. Um, and let's power up the green as well. And we'll see if we can get past this next wave. And so what you can see is happening is, is when these are combined, it's throwing out these like bigger like power balls basically um, by their powers combined. 
uh, they can do more damage. And so the game just kind of repeats like that. You want to see how many waves you can get through. Um, I've made it to nine waves. It gets pretty tough after a while because you start running out of money um, and there's only so much you can do. So check out Hacker Cell. Finger Driver is a game that seems super easy, but it's actually surprisingly difficult. Um, so you're just controlling this car, but instead of like using your finger to just move back and forth or whatever, you're controlling that wheel on the bottom and you saw it already crashed. So you gotta like move your finger like this to kind of control the wheel like you're driving your car. And it's pretty dang difficult. Uh, you cannot touch the sides at all. Here we go, I'm getting a little bit of a hang of it now. Oh, boy. Okay, 94. Try that one more time. Okay, whoa. Okay, I'm not very good at this game. But you can see that it looks easy, but it's actually pretty difficult. This is called Finger Driver. So that's gonna wrap things up for this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys check out these apps. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. That helps a lot. And subscribe to the channel for more videos. We'll see you next time.